What if becoming fluent in Spanish was as easy as taking the correct pill or perhaps being plugged into a computer? But imagine effortlessly mastering Spanish all thanks to the mind-bending power of artificial intelligence. In this video, I'm going to show you a foolproof formula to put you on the right path to becoming more fluent in Spanish faster than you ever thought possible using ChatGPT. So let's jump into it. Our focus today will be exploring the AI-driven virtual environment of language practice with ChatGPT. I have 10 key ways for you on how to maximize your Spanish language practice with ChatGPT. You can now engage in conversations with ChatGPT in Spanish to practice your speaking and even your comprehension skills. I'm talking about interactive dialogues and receiving feedback on your language usage. First up is learning to engage in a Spanish conversation. Start a conversation with ChatGPT by initiating a dialogue in Spanish. You can simply begin by greeting ChatGPT with a Spanish salutation like hola or buenos dias. Okay, so our first example here is learning to engage in a Spanish conversation with ChatGPT, right? So in order for us to do that, we can either do it from a text perspective if you just want to type out, but because we're learning a language, right, an oral spoken language, let's go ahead and have that conversation orally, right? So what I want you to do is go over into Google, into your search bar and type in voice control for chat GPT. Go ahead and click on that. And then what it's going to do is bring up this opportunity for you to add this extension. If you are using uh, Google, uh, majority of times you have to anyway, because that's how chat GPT works. It works off the Google browser. So go ahead and get the extension there. Once you have the extension, come back and restart Google. All right, go ahead and restart it. What you're going to do then is you're going to have the microphone added down here along with the language selection all right so the way you work this is you simply need to click on the microphone say what it is you need to say and then go ahead and click that microphone again after you finish saying it hola gracias por preguntar como inteligencia artificial no tengo emociones pero estoy aquí para ayudarte en qué puedo ayudarte hoy next up is how to practice speaking with ChatGPT, you can ask questions or respond to prompts in Spanish to practice your speaking skills. You can ask about various topics, discuss your interests, or even simulate everyday scenarios like ordering food at a restaurant or asking for directions. All right, next up is we want to have a practice conversation with ChatGPT, right? Yo quiero ir a Disney World. ¿Puedes ayudarme? Por supuesto. Estoy aquí para ayudarte a planificar tu visita a Disney World. Okay, so we're starting the conversation here, right? So I'm going to ask you something like, you know, where is Disney World, right? Primero, ¿dónde está Disney World? Disney World está ubicado en la que Buena Vista, Florida, Estados Unidos. Se encuentra aproximadamente a 22 millas, 35 kilómetros, al suroeste del centro de Orlando. Es importante tener en cuenta que Disney World no se encuentra en la ciudad de Orlando en sí, sino en una zona específica designada para el complejo de parques temáticos de Disney. Now let's talk about receiving responses. ChatGPT will generate responses in Spanish based on your input. Read the responses carefully to improve your comprehension skills and to better understand the language. Now this next one is very interesting. If you come across a response or phrase you don't understand, ask ChatGPT to explain further or provide examples. This will help you grasp new vocabulary, grammar structures, and idiomatic expressions. So remember that we can utilize ChatGPT to seek clarification, right? So I'm going to ask it about a phrase and see if it can give me an explanation of what it means. Take a look. ¿Qué significa la frase está ubicada? La frase está ubicada se refiere a la ubicación o posición de algo o alguien en un lugar específico. Indica dónde se encuentra algo o alguien en relación con su entorno. Por ejemplo, Si decimos la tienda está ubicada en la calle principal, significa que la tienda se encuentra en la calle principal. Es una manera de describir la posición o localización de algo o alguien. Okay, so what it's done is not only given me a definition of what it is, but it's also given me an example. So what we can see here is this. Not only will it give you a thorough explanation in Espanol, but you can also take that same explanation and say, translate this explanation into English 
and you can write it in English and it'll still translate it for you and put that explanation in English if you have to cross check some of the words to make sure you understand or comprehend what it was that it was telling you. Tip number five is correcting errors. If ChatGPT generates incorrect or unnatural responses, take note of the errors and try to correct them. It's essential to be mindful of the language quality and strive for accuracy in your own speaking. So tip six is one of my favorites, grammar and vocabulary assistance. Ask ChatGPT for explanations or examples related to specific grammar rules or vocabulary words you're struggling with. ChatGPT can help clarify doubts and provide guidance on sentence structure, verb conjugations, or any other aspect of Spanish grammar. So check out this example, con los verbos ser y estar. When should I use ser and when should I use estar, right? That's a common question that a lot of people have. Let's see what it gives us for that. ¿Cuándo se usa el verbo ser o el verbo estar en el presente? En español, tanto el verbo ser como el verbo estar se utilizan para expresar acciones en el presente, pero se usan en diferentes contextos y So as we can see here, ChatGPT will give you a thorough explanation of what it is that you're trying to find out, but if you can't understand it in español, make sure to ask it in English and have them explain it in English so that you can better understand what they're trying to tell you. And at number seven, we have writing practice. If you want to practice writing in Spanish, you can ask ChatGPT to provide writing prompts or engage in written conversations. Write your responses and receive feedback from ChatGPT on grammar, vocabulary, and overall writing style. All right, so now let's take a look at using ChatGPT for writing practice, right? So I'm gonna go over in the message area. I'm just gonna have it provide me a writing prompt about a particular situation. So I would just simply say in English, because that's what we're using right now, create a writing prompt in Spanish that requires me to talk about my daily routine. And let's see what it gives us. Describe tu rutina diaria de lunes a viernes, incluyendo actividades, horarios y cualquier otro detalle interesante. Right. So now, say you don't want to hear them speaking, right? You can definitely do the skip the read aloud. You can click this tab down at the bottom and then you can start your actual writing for the particular prompt that they've given. The most important thing here is once you've done your writing activity or your writing exercise, you can ask ChatGPT to give you feedback on what you've written. Is your grammar correct? Did you use the right vocabulary? How is your overall writing style, right? So you can ask it all of those questions and it will give you feedback for that particular information. We can also advance our language practice by taking the opportunity to ask ChatGPT about Spanish speaking countries, culture, traditions, or even current events. This will not only deepen your understanding of the language, but also enhance your cultural knowledge. So check out this cultural question I asked ChatGPT about the Palenque civilization in Colombia. Dame información sobre el Palenque en Cartagena, Colombia. El Palenque es una localidad ubicada en las afueras de Cartagena, Colombia, conocida por ser uno de los primeros asentamientos de personas afrodescendientes liberadas durante la época de la esclavitud. Coming in at number nine, you want to repeat and reiterate what you talk about with ChatGPT. Continuously engage with ChatGPT in Spanish conversations, focusing on areas you want to improve in. Practice regularly to reinforce your language skills, expand your vocabulary, and gain more confidence in speaking and understanding Spanish. While ChatGPT is a valuable tool, it's important to use it in conjunction with other language learning resources such as textbooks, online courses, or language exchange programs. These resources can provide structured lessons, exercises, and opportunities to practice with native speakers. ChatGPT should not solely be used as your primary source to learn Spanish and to become a better Spanish speaker. These are some common ways people utilize ChatGPT to support their Spanish learning journey, but it's important to note that individual preferences and use cases can vary. ChatGPT's flexibility allows users to explore various aspects of language learning and adapt the interaction to their specific needs. If you found value in today's episode of learning how to utilize ChatGPT for language practice specifically to Spanish, make sure you check out this video right here that has been selected primarily for you. Nos vemos.